Two weeks later, Shayna sat up in her bed. She thought about Ziggy's show. She thought about how Abby showed up out of nowhere. She saw how Abby appeared to be infatuated with her boyfriend. And Abby kept calling Shayna to apologize. But Shayna's friend, Nene, told Shayna to never speak to Abby again. But eventually, Shayna felt bad that Abby kept calling. So, she decided to answer. Nene was pissed off with Shayna. Nene said, girl, why would you answer her? Later that day, Ziggy was chilling with his friend Marvin. Marvin told Ziggy that he need to be aware of Abby. Man, that girl is cray cray. In the neon lit streets of downtown, Ziggy, the rising rap sensation, was on top of the world. His rhymes were fire, his beats infectious, and his girlfriend Shayna was his muse. But fame had its dark corners, and lurking in the shadows was Abby. A fan who took her admiration for Ziggy to a sinister level. Ziggy's friend Marvin always had his back. They had grown up together, dreaming of making it big in the music industry. But now, as Ziggy's popularity soared, Marvin became more than just a friend. He was Ziggy's manager and protector. One night after a high energy concert, Ziggy and Shayna retreated to their luxury penthouse. But as they settled in, Shayna couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Ziggy dismiss dismissed it as post-show jitters, but Shayna's unease only grew. Meanwhile, Marvin received a chilling message from an unknown number. I see you, Ziggy, and I see her too. The hairs on the back of Marvin's neck stood up as he realized the gravity of the situation. Someone was stalking Ziggy and Shayna and they were dangerously close. As the days went by, the threats escalated. Shayna started receiving disturbing letters filled with twisted declarations of love from Abby. Ziggy's concern turned to fear and Marvin knew they had to act fast. They hired a private investigator to track down Abby but she remained elusive, leaving only breadcrumbs of her obsession behind. Ziggy's once vibrant world darkened with paranoia, every shadow hiding a potential threat. One stormy night, as Shayna was alone in a penthouse, the power went out. Panic surged through her veins as she fumbled for her phone, only to find it dead. In the darkness, she heard footsteps approaching, slow and deliberate. Just as Shayna was about to scream, a hand clamped over her mouth and she realized and recognized it was Marvin's voice whispering urgently, it's me, Shayna, we need to get out of here now. With adrenaline coursing through their veins, Ziggy, Shayna and Marvin fled into the night chased by the specter of Abby's obsession. They knew they couldn't outrun her forever, but for now, they were united in their fight to survive. As dawn broke and the city stirred to life, Ziggy vowed to never let fear control him again. With Shayna by his side and Marvin watching his back, they would continue to chase their dreams, no matter what shadows lurked in the darkness. And somewhere out there, Abby watched, her obsession burning brighter than ever.